Hello and welcome to an Aristocrat Humidor humidification tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on the Set and Forget with 1.5 quart humidifier. This system is rated for 5 to 15 and up cubic feet, depending on the variation you choose. In its single humidifier configuration, the Set and Forget with 1.5 quart humidifier can humidify 5 to 15 or more cubic feet of cabinet space. An example would be a cabinet that is 2 feet wide, 1 feet deep, or 2 feet tall for 5 cubic feet, or 2 feet wide, 2 feet deep, and 4 feet tall for 16 cubic feet. We also offer two tower variations for the 1.5 quart humidifier system. Our tower one option is for when you have a large bank of drawers as seen in the first image. The tower two option is for when you have a large quantity of shelves creating a different spacing as seen here in the second image. The twin variation of the Set and Forget with 1.5 quart humidifier system is used for cabinets with 10 to 30 or more cubic feet of space. This can be either tall and narrow or wide and thin as seen in these two examples. The twin system gives you the variation you need to set your points of humidification where they will be optimal within these types of spaces. And finally, we have our quad variation, which has four of the 1.5 quart humidifiers. This variation is used in armoire style cabinets with 30 to 50 or more cubic feet of volume. Moving on, we will show the unboxing of one of the single 1.5 quart humidifier systems. Here you see our instructions, the programming guide, and the manufacturer's booklet. Next, we will remove the extra wick that comes with the system, as well as the 1.5 quart humidifier itself. Next, we will pull out the internal brown box, which houses the heart of the system, our set and forget control. Remember to keep the box and packaging until the system is up and running in case of need of return. Inside the control box, you'll find the beaker and funnel used to fill the 1.5 quart humidifier, the 40 millimeter recirculating fan, also the cable management bag with screws and clamps for holding your wires in place. Next is the two amp power supply, and then we have our connecting cables. Blue H's are for the humidity cables, P are for the power cables, and R is for the cable that goes to the recirculating fan. We also have now the heart of the system, our set and forget control. It will hold the system within 2% of the set point as it is accurate to 2%. Now we will move on to a sample of the wiring for the 1.5 quart humidifier system. First we will start with our humidifier and it will always have blue H's on the connectors. Go ahead and take your humidification connecting cable, once again connecting blue H to blue H. We will go from our humidifier over to the control and this has this particular wire completed. Now we will move on to our recirculating fan system which will always have a white R on the connector. The recirculating fan can be attached vertically or horizontally with the included screws. Once located within the cabinet, go ahead and run your R wire over to where the recirculating fan is, connecting white R to white R, and then go ahead and locate and move the wire over to your control. Once again, white R's to white R's. The recirculating fan has an extra leg in case ancillary fans are needed for your particular system. Moving on to our power, this is denoted with red P's. So we will connect red P to red P, and then once again, red P to red P. And then you can go ahead and once completed, plug into your power supply, and this will energize this system. Here's an image of the completed wiring system for simplification. The control, when energized, will cycle between temperature and humidity. Temperature is always denoted as a whole number, such as 072, and your humidity will always have a decimal, such as the 33.2. On your set and forget controller display, there are two symbols that should be noted. The first of which is what seems to be a box surrounding the numeral 1. This denotes that your recirculation fan should be turned on. The second symbol is what seems to be a rain cloud. This denotes that your control has sensed the humidity is below the set point and is calling for your humidifier to be on at this point. In this next section, we will discuss where to place the components of your system within your actual cabinet or humidified space. 
one thing you will notice is that you will need an exit for the power wire if you're going to have an external power supply. The 1.5 quart humidifier should be placed somewhere low and on the opposite wall that you intend to place the set and forget control on. It can be placed either in the bottom of the space or on a shelf as you see here. A full extension shelf can allow you to pull the humidifier out for ease of filling. On a side note concerning airflow, after deciding where the humidifier will be placed, you must then create an airflow path by which the humidified air is allowed to rise to the top of your humidified space or cabinet. As you see here, a corner was cut out of the shelf to create this pathway. There should also be a minimum of one and one half inches of space in front of and behind any shelves or drawer. These measures will give the most uniform dispersal of humidity. Also, when putting your cigars in the cabinet or space, do not block these airflow pathways. Moving on to placement of your recirculating fan, it should be located somewhere very high in the cabinet and if you have a drawer above the drawer so it blows the humidified air across the top of it. Moving on to where to locate your set and forget controller within your humidified space or cabinet. It should be somewhere about two thirds of the way up near the front and then attach it to the side. There are a pair of supplied number six one half inch screws. Start with finding your placement and go ahead and remove the paper backing of the double sided tape that is attached to the angle mount bracket. With the paper out of the way, you can then attach the controller to the side of the cabinet, pressing it firmly so the tape will hold it in place. Then using a small drill bit, pre-drill the holes to make placing the screws in much easier. With the holes pre-drilled, you can use the black supplied screws and a Phillips head screwdriver and simply attach them to the side of the wall, securing your set and forget controller in place. We will start running the wires going with the recirculating fan. Make sure you're connecting white R to white R and then run the wire up to where you will have your recirculating fan attached. There are several cable clamps and screws to help with keeping your wire attached and in place. With your recirculating fan in place, go ahead and attach a white R to white R, pulling the slack back down towards the control, as you will once again use some cable clamps to secure these. Attach the humidification and power connecting cables, keeping blue H's with blue H's and red P's to red P's. With all the wires connected here at the control, go ahead and use one of your supplied cable clamps to secure the wires in back near the control. And next, we will run them down along the line underneath this particular glide and attach them again, securing them in place with another one of the included clamps and screws. The humidification and power cables will next be run down the back corner of your humidified space or cabinet, going ahead and running them around or through any glides or shelving that's in place. With the humidification and power connecting cables run all the way to the bottom of your humidified space or cabinet, we will go ahead and attach the humidification cable to your humidifier and then we will begin to run the power connecting cable outside of the humidified space or cabinet so you can access 110 power to it. There is an included 5 8 grommet that comes with the system and can be used to plug any holes so you do not lose humidification through them. After you've connected the humidification connecting cable to your humidifier, leave the access of the cable in the bottom of your cabinet or humidified space so that you may pull the humidifier forward for ease of filling. With the wiring completed and with the system energized and on, you must remember to have your humidifier placed in the back opposite corner away from your set and forget controller and to have it placed in line with the airflow channel that was created earlier through the shelves and drawers. This way the humidity can rise all the way to the top of your humidor or cabinet and flow to the front and then disperse as it falls throughout the space. With the wiring complete and your humidifier set in place, there are a few things you can do to beautify your cabinet. 
one of which is to use Spanish cedar molding to cover your wiring as seen in these two images. This next section will discuss some of the general maintenance and upkeep for the 1.5 quart humidifier system. The first maintenance point that we will go over is simply filling your reservoir humidifier with water. There is a graduated beaker and funnel included with your system. Do not fill past the one and a half quarts of water or you will impede the airflow as well as slosh water out of the sides of the basin. The second maintenance point that we will go over will be changing the wick in your 1.5 quart humidifier. Start by disconnecting your humidifier from the humidification connecting cable. Then remove the four screws, one in each corner. This will allow you to lift the clear plastic top that has the fan on it out of the way. Go ahead and throw the old wick that is moistened in the basin away at this point. Now. Take the new wick and gently push the fibers to the outside so that when you place the wick over the fan, the fibers do not impact the blades. If they do, they can impede its function or create a loud noise. With the wick surrounding the fan, lower the clear plastic top and the wick together down into the basin. Once they are in place, replace the four screws, one in each corner, and tighten them securely, and you have changed your wick. And on to the auxiliary components portion of this video, where we will go over several options and variants of the systems, as well as components or parts that could be used for regular maintenance or upkeep. The set and forget controller can come in a variety of different configurations. The first and most popular being the angle mount bracket with standard sensor. The angle mount bracket allows for an ease of securing the control to a vertical wall, even in this horizontal positioning. The standard sensor means the sensor is placed directly behind the control. The second configuration we will discuss today will be the angle mount bracket with long sensor. This allows for when you cannot put the controller in what is an optimal for sensing the humidity position. It allows you to either put the controller within a drawer or in an easier to see place or even exterior to the humidified place and then run the sensor on the eight foot cord to where it will sense the humidity within the space optimally. We also offer an auxiliary 40 millimeter recirculating fan. It can be attached to the timed R circuit, or it can also be attached and slaved to your humidification line so that the fan turns on when the humidifier is on rather than one out every 20 minutes. Or in some rare cases, it can be attached directly to the power line so that the 40 millimeter recirculating fan is running nonstop all the time. The next auxiliary component we will discuss will be a float valve to allow for continuous flow of water into your reservoir. It is suggested that you use a minimum of filtered water rather than your simple tap water for this, as it will extend the life of your wicks as well as keep you from having to clean your reservoir nearly as often. Finally, there are two configurations of the 1.5 quart system that we would like to discuss here. The first being the twin system, for larger cabinets that need different points of humidification. The second being a quad system for the largest of cabinets, allowing you to space out your humidification points to optimally humidify any space. Moving on to the troubleshooting portion of the video, we will discuss a few of the common issues that can come up or occur with your 1.5 quart humidification system. One of the most common issues that comes up with the 1.5 quart humidification system is airflow. If an airflow channel is created, it must remain unobstructed, as well as the airspace in back and the airspace in front must be unobstructed as well. So be sure that you do not cover all the way to the back of your humidified space or all the way to the front you will restrict airflow and cause humidification issues such as dry spots or damp areas the other issue that we will discuss today will be direct sunlight interfering with your humidor the heating and cooling of the day night cycle can affect your humidity and we recommend that you keep your humidor in a climate controlled out of direct sunlight setting 
Thank you for watching another Aristocrat Humidor humidification tutorial. You can visit our website at www.aristocrathumidors.com or you can call in directly to the office. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. The phone number is 214-341-7885. Please like, share, and subscribe.